Hey, welcome to episode number three of uh, Building the Royal Louise by Mamoli. Last time I, I tried sanding the hull, didn't really like the result and uh, decided to uh, paint the hull. Uh, there are some surprise suggestions from the Ships of Scale forum, so uh, I'll leave the rest up to the video, so enjoy. No, there's nothing wrong with your screen or with the video. Uh, she is upside down. So it's time to stain the hull. Uh, I had some trouble sanding her down properly, but I think it's all right now. Um, let me show you what I did, just on the side. So this is just barely possible without uh, ruining anything, but let's just film from below. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it works like that. I have to be careful, but uh, yeah, not unhappy. So uh, this is the first time I'm actually looking at it this way. You can see also how, well, to be honest, how badly the hull is made. I'll just show you the curvature a bit uh, moving around. Well, it's, uh, it's wobbly all over. Let's uh, look at the other side. Ah, the symmetry is okay, I think. Yeah, you can still see how dirty the hull is. Now these things here are pretty bad. Here as well. So I think that somewhere during uh, my work on the on the Royal Louise. I think I uh, lowered my expectations a bit. Okay, let's film uh, from the other side. So, here she is again, upside down. So, I was about to start filming and then I noticed that uh, this plateau is here on uh, one of the ship's right side and not there. So I went looking for the piece and I thought, I didn't hear anything fall and I can't find it. So I was looking back at the pictures, and uh, it was never there. <coughs> uh, so yeah, well, I'll just make it of course, but hey, it's a good thing I turned it around. I probably would never have noticed. Alright, anyway, let's uh, look at her profile again. Yeah, you can see... Uh, maybe it's... The, no, it's... Uh, might be the dust a little bit, but hold on. No, it's the sanding. Yeah, I'm just looking for uh, odd bits in the curvature, but it doesn't look too bad from this side, I think. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, uh, I don't know. So um, I've looked at the ship from the side once and it also um, was a bit wobbly. So uh, I think that could have used a little bit of extra attention. But I'm not going to fix that. I'm just going to stain the hull because I want to move on. I have spent enough time on this so uh, it's time to go. So I think I'm gonna sand her down one more time with, well, two more times, once with the coarse sandpaper, because now I can see it a lot better. <coughs> and then with uh, a finer uh, sandpaper. And after that, I'm gonna put on the stain. But yeah, it's uh, not often you get to see a ship like this, right? <laughs> it just barely fits. Let's check for stability. I don't want it to fall over somehow. All right, time to get to work. So, I'm ready to start. Um, so I brought this stuff. It's basically uh, 
powdery stain once you add uh, hot water to it and let it cool down and then you get this uh, stuff um, I'm gonna put it on my ship I'm curious what will happen so uh, I have a brush a clean one and uh, something to wipe it off on <laughs> let's see what happens <laughs> Okay, I'm just checking the coverage with uh, a light. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm uh, watching the drying effect of the stain or that I didn't cover it equally everywhere. I'm just just drying. It's getting wet. Okay, let's see. So I um, stained the hull in an oak color and um, well now that I'm looking at the screen it looks pretty bad but actually from the top it, uh, it's not so bad in terms of staining. Um, the light on the camera doesn't do it justice. Um, but to be fair it does highlight the weak points. I think I, uh, I also don't like it enough. Now it is uh, it's a different type of color. These are a different type of color. There's still a lot of dirt here. So yeah, <coughs> it's not good enough. So I bought paint and I'm gonna paint it. So there you have it. I tried the color on a, a piece of wood that I still had, just to see what it is. It's supposed to be grayish, bluish, whitish, something like that. And look at it in the sun. But um, so I was trying it out because the paint is very thick. It's like wall paint. It's uh, much thicker than I thought. Perhaps uh, I should have paid more attention. But let's see how this works out. It 
has had two layers of paint by now. Um, I think it needs another layer. Um, just because if you look at it from the side, you can see that uh, partly here the wood structure is still visible and here it's uh, covered with paint. Um, so actually the paint is quite thick so um, I think I'm going to abuse that and just cover the hole completely, I mean uh, this part. Now there is a slight challenge though, I'm not perhaps this is better, I don't know. Um, but there is a, a, oh, <laughs> there is a slight brownish uh, color shining through the paint. And it's the pigment that I put on on the first attempt. That's kind of silly, but this is a water-based paint. Uh, and so is the pigment. So the pigment is uh, dissolving into the paint that I'm putting on. So, uh, yeah, it is uh, coming through. So I'm gonna, I let it dry a little bit longer now. I'm gonna try to paint a little bit of it and see if I go over the the pigment, if that works well. Um, and if not, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. It's actually, it's not such a bad look. I, I'm not sure how well the camera captures it, but it's sort of, um, <coughs> it gives it a little bit of character somehow. You know, the, the ship is not in super perfect condition and uh, I mean the wood has uh, in positive sense started to age a little bit in color so um, might not be a bad look so I'm gonna do a small experiment here on the on the bottom of the ship and then uh, look at it again tomorrow in good lighting but yeah this ship is turning out to be a uh, one big experiment right let's see I added the third layer of paint and uh, indeed the effect is uh, pretty much the same as with the second layer. So the pigment is still coming through. Um, probably this is uh, showing it quite well. So I did a little test bit uh, where I painted on the wood and on the, on the tape. And then I took the tape off just to see what the difference is, and I couldn't see a difference. But uh, here you can see the difference in the, I think, in the gray here and the slightly brownish gray over there. So, um, what to do now? So I have a backup plan. Um, the first judgment I have to make is whether there is enough paint on it. Um, I'm slightly considering painting this again to fill up the gaps a bit, but on the other end it's okay. It's a little bit better than just uh, the second layer. Let's check out the other side. <laughs> can still see the the weird curves in the ship. It's really not that well made. It's a pity. If the guy who made it just paid a little bit more attention to the frames, the hull would be a lot better. But well, we all make mistakes. Like painting over <laughs> a hull with pigment on it. So yeah, I think uh, I think it's okay like this, at least with the paint. So I have a backup plan and that is to um, paint another layer on it with uh, oil-based paint. I bought a lot of paint cans a while ago and um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna try and combine multiple of these jars into one big pile of uh, oil-based paint. So I'm gonna mix it up, I think. Yeah, at this point, <laughs> this ship is just turning into an experiment, but uh, still enjoying it. So let's keep um, keep on going. 
All right. Well, my backup plan got cancelled. I couldn't really mix up the right color of paint. Um, and after that I was kind of tired, tired of it. I'm ready to move on and I'm not that unhappy with the color on the ship. So I removed the masking tape and uh, I still have to do some minor touch-ups but that's okay. Um, but meanwhile I uh, got a good tip somewhere. I'm following this guy called I think Greg Wilson. I'll include a link in the description. He's making uh, the Soleil Royal, I think. It's probably French. Um, and uh, he had a good tip for fixing uh, this plate with the uh, Royal Louis uh, name on it. Uh, so the tip was to <coughs> uh, basically uh, paint all the gold parts and just roughly do letters in gold. Uh, and then uh, do the blue part in between and just paint over the letters and then remove the paint from the letters with the q-tip very carefully so I'll show you yeah it's not that bad it's actually quite difficult to do because uh, especially here the the S and the I are almost impossible to clean properly but uh, this is about as much as I could get out of it. I tried a few times. But I'm happy with, it. happy with this, so I'm leaving it like this. And um, yeah, it's time for other stuff now. I decided to change up my workspace a bit. <coughs> so that table you'll see over there can actually be twice as long, so fit between the two walls. But um, if I have such a large workspace, it just gets really messy. So uh, I added uh, a small shelf in the back. I've done that before in the past and it works really well. Um, I also separated the painting area. So for now it's uh, like this. If, it, if I like it, I want to make it more permanent. Uh, on the other side, so currently uh, the ship is upside down on the workmate. And I plan to uh, turn that into a tabletop where I can put all the power tools. So, I mean, those power tools, and I have one more. But um, I hope that by separating these three things that I uh, have a, a nicer experience and things will be less messy. I'm not sure how it's going to work exactly because... Uh, the ship should also be on this uh, workspace and I have to uh, let's say turn it around now and then so I don't mean upside down like that I never want to do that again but uh, you know so it's the bow from the left to the right just to work on the other side of the ship it would be nice if I can do that conveniently here I don't know I've once considered uh, mounting my ship on a rotating disc so that I can uh, swivel it more easily I've never done that before so if you have and you like it or not let me know but for now I think uh, I'm happy with this and I'm gonna drink coffee now oh yeah I forgot to mention uh, there was a slight accident with the ship so you may notice that the bowsprit is slightly less long than it was. Let me show it uh, on the bottom. Uh, it's supposed to be here. It broke off because I dropped that box on it. That was very unfortunate. But uh, it's a quite a clean break. So uh, probably I'll just replace it. Alright, that's it for episode number 3 of Building the Royal Louise by Mamoli. As usual, if you have any uh, suggestions or comments, um, leave them down below. I'm always happy to learn new stuff. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.